We're working straight through the weekend at the White House with two weeks left to fix the colossal failure known as healthcare.gov. This, as the president is facing an open revolt from members of his own party. ABC's Jeff Zeleny is at the White House. Jeff, good morning. Good morning, Dan. The White House is trying to fix more than a broken website. They're trying to restore their credibility and prove their competency. This morning, a new challenge for President Obama, keeping Democrats from jumping ship on his beleaguered health care law. After months of fighting Republican criticism. This disastrous law was destined to fail from the start. It's cancellation today, sticker shock tomorrow. And a week filled with apologies from the president. That's on me. That's something I deeply regret. We did fumble the ball on. There's anger in Congress. This is a political charade. Democratic anger running hotter than at any point in the Obama presidency. This is political theater. What a sham. The president is now trying to stop a Democratic betrayal, with more than three dozen members of his own party siding with Republicans Friday to support a plan the White House says would weaken the health care law. We caught up How with one of those Democrats who crossed this, the aisle. Uh, How disappointed are you in the Obama administration for this mess over the last month? Some heads out of roll. At the White House, it's a working weekend. Only two weeks left to make good on the president's pledge to repair the health care website by the end of the month. Well, we're working 24 7 uh, to get it fixed. He invited insurance company executives to the White House late Friday asking for help. Uh, we're going to be soliciting ideas from them. We want to make sure that we get this done. A long week at the White House, but an even tougher road ahead. Senior Democrats who've spoken to the president tell me he knows his second term agenda and legacy depends on no more fumbles. And Dan, that is a very tall order. Indeed it is, especially given the technological challenges That's they're right. facing. The website's still not fixed. This is definitely one of the weakest moments of his presidency. Yeah.